years old nearly will be on the 12th of December boxing out of Nairobi not a great deal of international experience that's the case for plenty of the fighters we'll see over the course of the next couple of weeks it's a new crop a new cycle coming through Luis Delgado from Manabi in Ecuador 21 years old box of the world championships in 2019 and at the Pan Am Games that same year got to the quarterfinals that was at 49 kilos and had some experience as well in the IEBA Youth World Championships in 2018 so he's more accustomed to this setting than Macharia Just checking the gum shield, checking the gloves, checking the belt line. Okay, so here we go. These two calls to the center of the ring. This is the opening fight in ring B on day two. Flyway division, 51 kilos. Macharia Kenya in red, Delgado Ecuador in blue, touch of gloves, and away we go. Ring B, round number one. So two orthodox fighters here, Macharia looking to get onto the jab, nice and quick there. Slipped underneath the jab, the fighter in red, and then aims a left hand to the body, didn't quite land it Delgado with a jab hits the gloves long right hand there from Macharia but a right came back nice and quick there from Delgado Macharia steps in looks to try and work the body trying to find their range these two at the moment right to the body there I think might just have got through from a chariot right upstairs certainly did went down to the body with the left hand and then switched up top with a good right he does look for that right hand over the top quite often the Kenyan left to the body there from him as well little bit more variety about him so far as they get up close and a little bit tighter there it's Macharia who finds a touch of room again just to let those hands go to the rib cage. Delgado just fainting a little bit with the front foot when they do throw though when they do punch I think Machari is just confident he's got the quicker hands here left hand got through there from Delgado he opened out for that left of the body again there Machari and the right hand wasn't quite up where it needed to be Heads almost coming together on the inside there. Both just throwing at the same time, shutting down the space and neither really had room to manoeuvre for that reason. Good left to the body there from Delgado, who's just beginning to settle a bit here. Macharia certainly had the better of the opening half of this round, the first 90 seconds. Delgado is coming more into it as we head into the final minute. Quicker hands now, Delgado. His reactions just seem to have picked up a bit, maybe caught out slightly by a quick start from his opponent. Final 20 seconds. Not been loads in this, but I think in that first half of the round, Macharia has probably landed enough. 
Good left to the body there, though, from Delgado. Final few seconds of the round, and he finishes with a nice right hand. Good round, good opening round. So it's close. That is a tight round. A round of two halves almost. Delgado, the more compact of the two. Machari a bit more expansive. And it's Delgado who's got it with four out of the five judges. So that's the start that he would have wanted. Machari threw a lot, particularly in that opening 90 seconds. Quite a lot missed, but a reasonable amount did get through. Wasn't an easy one to call that opening round. Rigby, seconds out. Left hand there from Delgado. When they trade on the inside like that. Rigby, round number two. They tend really to get a little bit too far on top of each other at times. Good right hand there from Delgado. Macharia came out nice and quick again as he did at the start of the first here, looking to try and steal that right hand to the body. Trying to feint with that front foot, throws a one-two, but Delgado took his feet out. Good counter there from Delgado. Dips to his left and throws that big left hand. Macharia. He looks for it a lot, but he does leave himself quite open when he does it. Round three. Both just swapping body shots up by the ropes on the near side of the ring. Nice jab there from Delgado. I haven't seen too much of that, not from either of these two really. The jab has been neglected a bit. Right hand there from Delgado. He's found his distance quite well in this second round, midway through it, so midway through the contest. Jab from the Ecuadorian, hits gloves. But he's just out of range there, Machari. He sprung in, he really stepped into that one too, but he still couldn't quite make it reach. Left to the body there from Delgado. He's just working around Macharia, who for the most part has got the centre of the ring. Delgado trying to counter the jab immediately there. As soon as it came out, he looked for the right hand over the top of it. Macharia flicks the jab, but again, it's taken on the gloves. Right hand there from Delgado, but he just got slightly stuck after he threw it. And Macharia came back with a couple, but another right there from Delgado. It's been competitive, this, right from the start. As I said, there wasn't much between them at all in that first round. Delgado has dictated terms a bit more in this second, if that's quite the right phrase. He's just a bit better organised than Macharia. He stands slightly square there, the Kenyan, as he lets his hands go. And the left of the body gets through from Delgado. Final few seconds, Delgado switches southpaw briefly. First time in the fight that he's chosen to do that. Good left hand, landed that one nicely. Out of that left-handed stance, so there goes the belt. And that was a fairly clear round win, I felt, for Delgado. And he gets it. Ten nines. With four out of the five judges again there. So he's got a 20 point to 18 advantage. With four of our judges at ringside. So that's a, a big mountain to climb for Macharia going into the final round. He needs 10 eights. Difficult to see where he's going to get those from. As I say, this has been. Good competitive fight right from the off. Delgado is, I 
think by virtue really of just throwing <laughs> slightly shorter, straighter punches at times has managed to get the upper hand. Well, you see the referee give that signal quite often. And what it means is that he's telling the fighter that they're punching with the inside of the glove, that they're slapping a bit at times. And Ladies and gentlemen, we now proceed with the bout number 31. That is not what they're supposed to do. A scoring shot has to be delivered with the knuckle part of the gloves to the scoring area, which is either the torso or the front or side of the head. Right hand there from Delgado. Acharya bringing it as much as he can in this third and final round. Just short with the right hand there, the Kenyan. Macharian just stupid with a jab to the body. Jab from Acharian, but taken on the gloves by Delgado. It's got a bit messy in the last 30 seconds or so. The tempo has maybe just dropped a bit. Right hand there from Macharian. Delgado just walking him down the touch there. Left hand side of the ring, letting go with a couple of left hands. Good left hand there from Delgado. That's fair enough from the referee, though, the way through. It didn't really pick that elbow up, and as a result, made contact with the inside of the glove. That was a, a good left hand from him again there, though. Got in a little bit tight, so that was a proper hook. You see the bend in the elbow. He picks that elbow up. That really allows you to make contact with the knuckle part of the glove. Again there, he throws that left hand from low at times. But when he gets tight in with it, he's got a much better chance of landing it in the way that he needs to. Got caught on the inside a couple of times there, Delgado came in with a one-two and his feet got a little bit stuck. So there goes the bell at the end of the third and final round. Delgado confident that he's done enough. He will have known that he was in a decent lead going into that third and final round with four of the judges. Split decision, four cards to one in favour of Delgado and judge from Kyrgyzstan has gone 3-0 to Macharia, everybody else has gone 3-0 to Delgado, the right man's got it, but it was competitive, as I say, competitive all the way through, I could certainly see a case for Macharia in that first round. Rounds two and three, Delgado picked his punches well. Left hand to the body, left hand up close. Did some good work for Delgado, that was a sweet right hand as well. So he's through and in the flyweight division, well it's probably the, the easiest to organise because it's got exactly 32 fighters in it. So that means we have a round of 32, then 16, then the quarter-final, semi-final 
and final. And so Delgado will go through and he will face the winner of our next fight, which is Nodari Darbaidze of Georgia, Alexander Korniv of Ukraine.